All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Kender, and as Lauren mentioned, I'm uh, uh, the lead for everything uh, embedded analytics solution and working with you and all our customers to, to uh, integrate Looker and build product on top of Looker. So before even we get started to the agenda, I wanted to give you um, a, a sense of why uh, we wanted to talk to you about uh, the API platform uh, with Looker. Uh, you guys are at the core of data uh, and digital transformation as well as economic transformation. We've seen a lot of topic on you know, how you monetize data, how you want to build um, you know, rich data experiences for your customers, but also for your colleagues. And we thought that you know, the Looker uh, interface, uh, as rich as it is, uh, can be augmented thanks to the API. So this is what we're going to discuss today. And we'll see different um, uh, different, um, uh, you know, we'll have some latitude around the, the API's landscape because it's not about just the Looker API, it's how we use all those app uh, application programming interfaces. Uh, the second topic that we want to uh, um, um, oversee is the productize, how you're going to productize data with the Looker API. And we want also give you some flavors of what we've seen on the market, thanks to you, like the art of the possible, like think on how we can build those rich data experiences. And because, again, our customers are at best at, at, at using our technology, uh, uh, we're going to uh, walk you through two use cases from Wix and Spire. Now, before we dive into the landscape of APIs, I just wanted to um, give you um, uh, an overview on how we see Looker from database to uh, to an interface. So at first, and you know that, uh, Looker has been founded in 2000, uh, 2012 to connect to databases and leverage the computation power of those massively uh, 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 scalable databases. So our technology is, of course, in the 100% in database. Then we added this technology that allows people to generate SQL without knowing SQL. So this is our semantic modeling layer that allows descrip the description of all our data across all those databases. And because you guys are already familiar with the Looker interface, we wanted to emphasize today with the API-first extensibility. We have uh, most of our customers, actually a lot of our customers, have taken the product to, uh, to new high by building on top of the Looker API. And as you already know, Looker, the whole Looker product is covered by its API. So you can interface not only the data retrieval, but also the user management and all functionalities that you guys like, scheduling, alerts, but also data definition, data access to uh, data sources. So really all component of Looker has uh, have an interface uh, and a representation through its API. Well, one quote that I've actually uh, have, have been um, that keeps resonating in my head, uh, which is from a, a well done platform APIs are the key to everything. Again, when we think of building technology and building innovative solution with you, we think of Luca API being part of the equation. And when Eric Schmidt, um, that was a, a talk that he gave um, uh, at Stanford, when he talked about uh, um, having all the product, all the solution being first thought through the lens of an API. My take on it was uh, every time I work with you, with customers, and we think of use cases, we're not always looking at the lens of, I want a business intelligence dashboard. But I have, for example, colleagues, employees that will work, for example, on a production line that don't even access to a desktop computer. And how can I give them information uh, in real time or near real time, how can I help them do their job better? So I work with some customers, actually one customer in the manufacturing uh, uh, space that said, I want to send some micro analytics, some key insights on production line, on some, uh, on some various uh, KPIs and goals uh, on a text message. And with Looker API, we were able, through the lens of the, B, the dashboard that's been built, we were able to use the Looker API uh, in order to return data and orchestrate a workflow with another a third party API to send a text message to those customers. I think, frankly, a few years back, this technology was uh, should have involved a lot of infrastructure. However, today, uh, these things are much easier. And um, the reason why it's much easier to do 
those, I would say, revolutionary data experiences is because the landscape of APIs is so rich. And I think we, we, we use those APIs every day. And the way I translate API landscape is really about everything as a service. So maps as a service, obviously, uh, you know, Google map, you can use the iframe, but also you use the API without noticing it. When you pre, when you prefill a form, your address is, uh, there's a reverse geocoding, but also the payment. I remember the time where I was making payment online and I was taken to an iframe or, or like a banking system page, and then I had to pay. But right now, thanks to uh, some very, very strong APIs, we, we are able to, um, uh, to, to have those transactions uh, very efficiently and also with a design that is fully integrated. And of course, I listed other APIs that I think we, we all use every day, uh, everything around food delivery, uh, especially during the pandemic with all the restaurants that have been able to, uh, to transform their business and accelerate uh, how they can revamp their sales thanks to powerful API for, for example, uh, streamlining food delivery within their systems. Uh, so really, APIs are the, at the core of um, uh, this digital and economic transformation. So now, let's refocus on Looker and what, in this landscape, how the Looker API plays a fundamental role. Well, uh, you remember when I was saying uh, all those things as a service, SMS, trading, how about data as a service? And Looker, the Looker REST API plays a fundamental role on being able to uh, bring this data from all your the, those databases, so from the raw data collection to your modern data store, your different powerful databases. And when the Looker API is called by your application, uh, it will be translated by the modeling layer that will then auto-generate a SQL uh, query and really the, the value here in the command chain of your application to your database is removing any human errors. This is so important for, for your customers, for your colleagues to, to be able to standardize how they, they call all the KPIs and definition you, you designed in the modeling layer as well as in your database. Also, we see this workflow to be uh, to, to be able to standardize multiple applications because your data sources, your schemas are evolving. You change a column name, you change uh, some databases, which is normal. You have different use cases. You have uh, use cases for near real time. You have a use cases for storage. You have a use cases for, uh, for drill down. You have also use cases for semi-structured data. The world of data is so complex that it cannot be answered necessarily by one single database or one simple type of technology. And we understand that. And lastly, uh, we, we, we want to make sure that uh, it's all version controlled. Like we want you to provide to your front end, back end engineer, people who are building those applications. We want you to be able to bring those insights for them through a standardized API. Now, how do we at Looker and how our customers, we try to summarize how you are thinking of building the next generation application for your customers. And when I say for your customers, I'm saying, I'm saying you guys have built and generated those great insights in, the da in those dashboards. And sometimes you realize that there are business opportunities that can be unlocked by providing those insights to your customers. Sometimes you are even monetizing those insights and coming to, to see your company and say, well, our customers need this information. It's a proof of value. It's going to help them retain them on our product. And potentially, we can even package this offering. And when you package this offering, sometimes a simple dashboard, what I mean a simple dashboard, of course, I mean from, from, a, from a preview standpoint, not from a, a, a but for sometimes a simple dashboard in a product and embedding it as an iframe is not sufficient because I know you think of those things. How can we help our customers, our colleagues, visualizing information more efficiently? And sometimes line chart, pine chart, like all the BI visualization are not sufficient. You also want to bring to your customers a level of automation that is superior, some kind of in-app chat, uh, uh, some alerting text messages. And also, and I know it sounds a little buzzy, but when we talk about AI and machine learning, we really like thinking on how can I empower users to leverage powerful artificial intelligence and machine learning processes that you know how to bring into place, but helping them for end users that don't necessarily know data science 
and how can you help them? How can you use technology to recommend them? How to read those insights? And because those three vectors are basically the, the, the core of a modern data application, you need to bring data into, uh, into those application. And that's when you, we invite you to think of the Looker API as well as the Looker iframe. Now, how does that look like if we try to uh, uh, drill down into uh, this Looker API and how it works with different applications? Well, first of all, we've seen an augmentation, a proliferation of data application among our customers. It used to be a time when building one application was already so heavy. But right now, we've seen a lot of our customers are building some tactical application to address a, a certain market or a certain geography. And all those applications need data. So how does that work with the Looker API? Well, thanks to all the work you've done on the uh, Looker interface, all the dashboards, looks, all the metadata that you've consolidated, and, and frankly, all the intelligence that you have in your, uh, uh, in your product, you're going to be able to serve it to different products inside your company, whether they are internal or whether they are external. So how it works? Well, the application is going to simply request the data to the Looker API, through the Looker API. Looker is going to then check the user permissions, take care of the role level security, the column level security, make sure that you know, we, we remain in the enterprise security grade uh, platform, auto-generate the SQL, passing all the fil filters, attributes, all the different parameters and roles, business roles that need to be attached. And the database will return the data and bring this data for your web developers or, or yourself to bring uh, this data into those different applications and the different format. Of course, this is a very one-on-one -on -one example, but I just wanted to highlight uh, a flow of how do we serve multiple applications uh, with data that has been created uh, centralized uh, through uh, Looker. Now, you're going to tell me, well, that's, that's, that's well known, and, and we, 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 already, uh, we already have applications, but, but so what? Like, what's, what's next? Well, what's next is we've, we, as BI and, and data analyst experts, we know how to read dashboards. Uh, we read multiple scale, you know, log analytics. We, we, we are able to to understand how a combination charts, how we correlate all those different visualization, and we are able to drill down, filter. We have, we are, I would say, born and raised in those, um, um, those products that allows us to slice, dice the data, and we also, uh, we are, I would say, experienced uh, um, data analysts. However, when it comes down to productize data and bring this data and information to an audience that is not necessarily well versed in the world of data analytics. I mean, who would blame them? We want you to think, and we invite you to think on how can I help build a new data product, new way, revolutionary way of accessing information without being a BI analyst. And all those, uh, and I would actually, I would like to thank some of you who shared with me those insights. Uh, we would like to invite you to think on how you can build those next generation data product by bringing those insights from all your findings in Looker and the Looker interface that you know, and how you can bring this curated information into modern data application that can be used by a broader uh, audience. And actually, we have we found some really cool example, even down to, to some uh, uh, um, connected watch applications. So really cool. And again, thank you for those who shared. Now, just a summary here. Why developers, why you tell us that you love the Luke uh, API and, and really having a conversation with you on how you've been using it, what use case you've been, uh, you cracked is always uh, fascinating. Actually, I, I learned most from you. Uh, what, I've, what you've told me and is really like being able to build any data application. And because a lot of time you don't see a data application as necessarily being interfaced. Uh, you said, um, uh, data application is about orchestrating workflows and bringing information where it needs to be. And sometimes it can be a simple alert. It doesn't have to be a dashboard. Not all key insights need to be translated by a visualization. The roadmap, oftentimes our customers ask us, um, uh, hey, can we connect Looker? We have a, a need for a very advanced mapping technology, or we have an, a need for 
um, to bring up and down another service or use another API. And so this is when you, you bring um, our Luca API as data as a service to keep on working, to keep on building and innovating. Uh, another thing where, uh, which is sometimes obvious that we take maybe for granted, but Luca auto generates SQL across 50 databases. And you appreciate when all the web developers that you work with, you can bring them insights and for them, you remove them the barrier of writing SQL, managing time zone, all those formatting of, of queries, all this time that you spend on, on understanding the dialect for a certain database, the dialect for another database, and all, I mean, everything that brings uh, SQL as, as a challenge, and, and frankly, sometimes as also uh, brings a lot of human errors when you bring SQL statement into an application. So this is something also that you raised, and, and, and uh, I wanted to bring it for you as a summary. And ultimately, uh, you like your application stack. As much as you like the Looker interface, you also love your modern uh, stack. I call it the big four, Angular, Node.js, React, Vue.js. And you want to build and keep innovating, building uh, applications. And you still want to also enjoy the metadata, all the insights you've done in Looker, and you want to bring these insights into those applications. And we understand that. So that's why we keep on investing tremendously on our Looker API to always keep all the functionalities of Looker available through its API. Now, because uh, uh, we, we wouldn't be able to fully understand why this Luca API is so powerful without understanding the scale. And thanks to, to Wix, Wix uh, is a platform to build a website. And uh, they've uh, chosen Luca uh, in order to fuel uh, their insights capabilities, visitor analytics, sales analytics. And the scale, because let's not forget that Luca is about uh, I mean, it's born in the cloud, for the cloud, and able to scale geographically, vertically, and horizontally. And Wix have been able to deploy a full, I mean, full-end uh, analytical solution within their product to scale across millions of users. But also what's in interesting is being able to handle high traffic and also a, a, a huge amount of concurrent uh, queries. The last example is one of the most fascinating, at least for me, because I love everything around space. Uh, and uh, Spire is basically a platform uh, that describes the, the space value chain. They have they build satellites and they are monitoring maritime traffic. And when they came to see us, they were already really good at building. Uh, I mean, they were the expert at building an API to help uh, vessels. Uh, to navigate and, and optimize their route and a lot of challenges uh, of their business. And they wanted to build a new offering uh, using uh, Looker. And when they've chosen Looker, what really appealed them is not only the iframe and all the capability about Looker when it comes to building a product on top of Looker, but it was really about uh, enriching the experience for their end users with an API by advancing into the visualization and product they could build. 